and I wanted to show you real quick the inverter output just basically goes into an AC system disconnect remember on this side of the inverter it's going to be 110 AC and this just basically goes into a disconnect and the output from there just goes right into the house you probably notice this other output over here this goes to our water pump water pumps right there water well of course the pumps down there a few hundred feet but that goes straight to the the water well one other item that we have in here that's nice uh, when we first set the system up we had some problems with our backup generator and we needed a backup for the backup so we set this up and what we can do is we can take this it's your basic extension cord the end cut off and you take that and you go black to black well yeah black to black white to white green to green and then you take that end and you just plug it into a simple Honda generator portable generator and it will actually back feed power through the inverter and then into the batteries so that was a nice little fix for when uh, when we first moved in here it was a really really bad winter super snowy and um, we didn't have much sunshine and the generator wouldn't work so we didn't have power so um, we got another I had a construction company and I had another generator and we just wired this thing up and that was a backup for our backup normally you wouldn't need that but um, if if you don't have the propane generator like we have you can hook up this to a regular Honda generator and you could charge your batteries um, now I'm going to show you how this generator works and how it actually runs through the inverter because the generator generates AC power so it has to go back through the inverter can be converted to DC and then go into the battery bank so it actually works reverse through the system Let's go check that out now.